today. Today we will be looking at activity 2 part 1. I am your host Abdul Rahman and welcome again. So in activity 2 you have to consider about your vocabulary. So what is vocabulary? Vachala maala vakyane kumadda. Sol akharali endalani. Vocabulary means all the words that you know. As a DC or a level student, you are expected to know a certain amount of English words. These words may be nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. We spoke about this in the last lesson as well. So, students, if you know a set of vocabulary, for example, if I ask you, can you give me some vocabulary that you find in your classroom? You can say, okay, a desk, a chair, a teacher, some tables, some chairs, a group of students, writing, reading, speaking. These are some of the activities that I have to focus on. Now, what have you got to do today? In 2016 paper, we can see that most of the vocabulary was based around prepositions such as in, on, at, around, through, in front of, behind, these sort of things. And when it came to 2017, they used the technique of verbs, where you have to know which verb to use. Is it is calling or calling? Or you can say selling or sold. So what sort of a verb is appropriate for that place? In 2018, it was again rotated back to preposition. But this time they use something like for, about, inside, around, these sort of words. And again in 2019, it was a sort of a mixed words. For example, tall, then shirt, then think. These are words that you already know, right? So based on these only, your questions will be coming in 2020, I hope. So, students, now do you remember, if you have a good knowledge in vocabulary, you can easily understand this stuff because now you know how to read, right? You know how to read properly and slowly and carefully. I have given you two photos in this case. I have got from this internet where we show some prepositions. It's very classical and there's an owl you can see. This owl has a lot of movements. So if it is on something, you say it is on or under over so these photos are there you can take a snapshot from this and record it for your future reference if you want to study further as well now what have you got to do now this is what i will i will explain the activity as well for you so that most of you will be able to understand what you have to do in practice activity 1a which you see right now you can see right is there I will put that again, don't worry, as a screenshot. Now, in this, you have been given a dialogue between two of the friends that are in the group. Now, they are speaking about the English course, you can see that. You have to use an appropriate preposition and fill in the blank, that's all. If it is much better if you can write the question and the answer as well, and then you can send it to me so that I get this is what you have done. So it will be a good practice for you. First you do that and try to practice it with your friend. You can have a friend, you can practice the dialogue with your friend. So it will improve your vocabulary as well. If you don't know the meaning, find it from the dictionary. So it will improve your vocabulary, right? And also you will be able to speak fluently as well. That's the first activity. In practice activity 2, what you have to do is to be there. This is another dialogue. But this time, what have you got to do? You have to select the suitable verb. Is it is calling or calling? Is it understand or is it understood? So look at the sentence structure. Try to read, try to understand, relax and slowly fill in this stuff. And please tell me the answers today before 9 p.m. today. So I will be able to give you the proper answers at 9 o'clock. I will try to post the best answer in each of the books. If your answer is much better and it is very colorful and if it is very innovative, I hope that you also will be writing very innovative and creatively and the handwriting is very clear. I will take that as my answer and put it as it is. 
Thank you students. We'll meet again tomorrow. Bye-bye.